<laughs> okay, everybody, we Welcome are back, back for our WPNQ. It is round four. Round, round four, four yeah. round four. Uh, and 32 players are playing in this invite only standard tournament to win a place at the Players Tour in Nagoya next year. Uh, this is Ben from Grio Games, joined by a Angry Man Uncle Joe, as Mick likes to introduce me. Angry Man Uncle Joe, as he likes to talk, think of himself. I um, don't know, you know, actually, I'm actually I'm really nice and mild nature. Self deprecation, you know. De- self deprecation, you know. Uh, and yeah, we have uh, Erickson Barabo, uh, you know, who we was on stream in round two. Yeah, it was on two? stream in uh, round two where his opponent gave him a little bit of extra extra time, some borrowed time. Borrowed time. Uh-huh. As, as now as it's called, is a borrowed time. Uh, uh, oh my goodness. They and yeah, he's long, up against long Lim Chiang. Lim Chiang, uh, he's playing his S- Just Guy Fires deck. We have no idea what Chiang is playing. Yeah. Uh, we, first time so we've seen him on stream. And this is a pretty pretty important game because he lost that round on stream. On, yeah. on, on, on the camera. Mm-hmm. So this is uh this is his kind of win and in. That's as true. They, yeah, as yeah. they put it, right? Because for uh three it's a five round tournament. Yeah, it's five rounds. Yeah, so three round one is is, is close because of the thirty two player yeah, cap. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh so I think he'd love to improve to uh improve to three one. Yeah. I think three one maybe he can ID in if he has good breakers and stuff yeah, like yeah, that. Yeah. yeah. And he brazenly borrowed time. Ah <laughs> uh, uh, uh. We've missed you here, Johan. Uh, uh. Hey, Johan, you're supposed to meet me for something, right? You want me to uh, you want to ask me about something, so... Let's yeah, some kind that. of, like, scholarship thing, is it? Or something no, no, it's like a, something for his project. Ah, okay. interesting, interesting. Okay, yeah, Um. so we have pretty interesting decks. We watched uh two non-Oko decks square off last, last game. Yeah, yeah which I think is quite surprising, actually. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm really yeah, surprised yeah, yeah. about that. And one of, the, one of the people who's been active in chat, Kotaro X, is saying that it, we just make it better by putting Oko in the deck. That's <laughs> true. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Suppose. At which point you start the mana though? Like, I, mean I don't know. Yeah, then you start taking out the innkeepers, you put in the geese, and then you you know then. Yeah, <laughs> basically one thing leads to another. Yeah, 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 for sure, for sure. So Ericsson on the play starts with a halo fountain. Oh, it looks to be the mirror. Yeah. It's the mirror. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's the Jeskai Fires mirror. Oh, you're right. It's the Jeskai Fires mirror. Okay, so let's update that real quick. And I think this is pretty interesting because there's not a lot of interaction in, uh, on both sides. Um, it seems like whoever is on the play has a strong Massive advantage, advantage yeah. because they can get first. They can they can get to their um, casualties of war quickest. Oh, I suppose right? so. Yeah. Uh, but we know that Ericsson is not playing the, the Fae of Wishes, the wishes uh, version, engine. Yeah. So Ericsson's deck might actually be the most functioning one outside of her fires. Right, because he can put six sixes and f- uh, six fives and four fours into play and just beat his opponent down. Right, right, right. Where um, his opponent needs to uh, needs to have the combo, right? An angle, a little yeah, bit yeah. To yeah. Get the stuff. But Ji Young Lim, you know, decides. Okay, I'm gonna put uh, the two mana one four flyer into play. That's right, man. So and, uh, dominant. I'm just gonna beat you down with it That's for like right. uh, twenty turns. Twenty turns later, you die, bro. <laughs> <laughs> That's right, one. He says it's Wednesday. Okay, with you. Uh, yeah, 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 sure. Yeah, I think it's a powerful card. Um, I've often I played this deck a bit, and I often cast it in turn two so that I could block uh three three uh you know, elk elk. It's yeah. very one well positioned. Is, yeah, one point yeah, is yeah. really really good power on top. Re- really well positioned. Uh, but we're gonna see. I think a the the, the kind of eponymous card in this deck, the fires of invention. There we go. Extended art. Extended art fires of invention, and he's gonna That's play sure dig, dig through time. He's gonna play. What is it called again? Drawn to dream. Drawn to dream. Draw to dreams. Dr- dream something. Drawn. Drawn. Drawn from dreams. Drawn from dreams. Drawn from dreams. Yeah. So essentially, so functionally, it's a dictator time. Yeah, it is. It almost exactly dictator time without the delve. There you go. So, yeah. 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 Top seven cards in your library. Put two of them in yeah. your hand. Put you're the rest in the bottom. And you can, because there are any cards, you don't have to tell your opponent what you're getting. Right, right. Even though people have shown me what they've gotten before. Just a kind of like a... Jedi you know, mind a trick power them. move. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You can um, lose to these two cards <laughs> and they go off the drum to dream. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and then you cast about therapy. Yeah. Be like, <laughs> 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, so uh, Ericsson way ahead. Yeah, I guess. Yeah. I think Jiang has his own his copy own fires, of yeah. fires. He has Interplanetary Beacon. which is I think he has a drum from Dreams in hand as well. Yeah, like so he's going to be able yeah. to mirror this play. But his is a more but honestly, yeah. If, you, if you're the first person who goes... Yeah, 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 yeah. Whether advantage. or not you have removal on your sideboard that you can get with... Yeah. The Fairy of Wishes is also so different, right? You have first crack at all these new cards. Right, right, right. So he's going to draw from Dreams. He's going to look at seven. But the next turn, he gets to get yeah. his, his granted. 
Yeah. yeah he's going to get his wishes granted. Yeah, his oh, wishes oh, granted. Oh, oh, oh. But what would he dig for in his sideboard, though? Well, what is good? Uh, I think my, the casualties is to pretty good. To get rid of the fires. And yeah, the like they both have Prison Realms main deck, so mm-hmm, they could mm-hmm. they could get wait, get out of that by 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 playing Prison Realm. Um, but I think out of the out of the sideboard, like a wish, a pretty cool wish target would be any of the really dominating planeswalkers. Like right, I, I've seen right. I think Chun Hao's version of the deck has Liliana, Dreadhought General. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Wow. And um, you know, Do you know has this deck. He built this deck. Yeah, he built this deck. Oh wow! Okay. Yeah, he 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 and I think is really good. Like it's a strong contender for a deck that you could play at the Mythic Championship. Right. It is inherently broken. Like it's just a really really powerful. Yeah, it, card, right? Yeah. And so, uh, yeah, but we'll see what Ericsson has up his sleeve. He he has a you know a bit the of a novel a novel a take on this on this right uh, right yeah this the archetype. Cavalier of Wind. Yeah, he's going to play Cavalier of Gales. Gales. There you go. Cavalier of Gales. Gales. Um, For those who were not with us in the last round. It's really interesting. You, you could, he could have, yeah, he probably, he needed the land and play to cast the Cavalier of Gales. If not, he could have waited and then scryed away a card that he put back right, with the Gales, right? right? Um, but unfortunately, not, not, you know, not magical Christmas land for Ericsson. Yeah, not And quite. Ericsson, yeah, taking his time, figuring out what to put but back. But is there another land in his hand? I mean, he might have found it off, oh, the, off the three the, cards the, that he yeah, drew. Yeah. Gales, so right. he's going to play the, the second Cavalier. The Cavalier, the Cavalier of, yeah, you know. Flame. So he's uh, doing his part to uh, reunite the band or to summon Captain Planet, as we were, as it were. Yeah. 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 These old people yeah. looking about Captain Planet. I'm sure the kids know what no, Captain Planet nobody is. Knows what so Captain he's discarding Planet four is. cards to his. Wow. Okay, oh he's sending four cards to his. That's insane. He gets to um, kind of wins a change, you know? <laughs> and he gets to use the extra mana to give yeah, his creatures so haste he and, plus one, and plus two twice, plus zero. I think so, yeah. Yeah, so yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's a lot of damage. Seven and eight. That's, that's wow. That's 15 damage right on the top. Yeah, that's some powerful that's magic. That's some powerful magic. <laughs> Yeah, 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 and so it's great, right? It's great. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Tiang needs an answer pretty soon, which uh, I think he will have. If he, he does have, but the problem is that the, the Cavaliers have haste. So even right, if right, he right. even if he wipes the board here, he's just gonna get run over next by turn another by Cavalier, another red yeah. Cavalier. If Ericsson found it, and you have the thing and this is that he found it. Right? Yeah, I mean this is an interesting right. choice by Ericsson, right? Yeah, this yeah. Does the life totals are not, not up to date. So right, uh, right, yeah, so he's you know, taken fifteen damage. He should be at five. Yeah, it's gonna be yeah. eighteen. So five. we will uh, make an, a comment to them in between rounds yeah. to keep the life totals updated for. But those in the of you meanwhile, we'll we'll keep track of it for you. Yeah, fact, for sure. <laughs> we're gonna Jerry rig it. Jerry rig it. This is not what it's supposed to be used for, but needs must. Bang. And so, what is Young's play here? He has another um, Fair Wishes in hand, right? I think that that looks like it. So he can just grant it. He doesn't need to go and discard cards and do funny things like that. Or he could, no, he couldn't grant it twice, he'll just die. Uh-huh. He's looking at his sideboard. What's, Nico Bolas? <laughs> I saw like, God Pharaoh, I think. No, that's not right. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, not God Pharaoh. Nicol Nicol Bolas, the Nicol the, Nicol Bolas, yeah. the one from War of the Spark. Yeah, the, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. I don't know why I, I did a hand action there, because nobody can see. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so what's the decision here? Goes into the tank. He has to solve the immediate problem, right? which is that there are two creatures yeah. that are staring in his face that will kill him. Either one of which will kill him. Um, well, technically, he can block one, so he has to deal with one at least. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, I think Clarion's not going to be good enough here, yeah. so he needs to okay, get right. a sweeper out of his sideboard, but that leaves him cold to another Cavalier. Another Cavalier yeah. And I think he, I mean, like, you have to expect Ericsson to have it. Like he right, saw right, seven right. extra cards, but that just on that last turn I mean, alone. Th- there's nothing else he can do. Right. right? I mean, what's so he's got ca- he's got Clarion. First Clarion. Oh, he's gonna Clarion. Yeah. So he's gonna give his creatures. He's gonna do three to all and give his creatures life link. So if he's smart about it. Uh huh. Okay okay, okay. 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 So he's gonna shoot, and then he's gonna he's gonna scry two. Okay. He's gonna shuffle the Cavalier back, and he's gonna scry two. So that's two more looks at a. Uh, Two more looks at another Cavalier. Right. Right. Because all he, all Ericsson needs is to be able to get one creature through. Right. And with the fires in play, he's not going to be able to play any spells on his opponent's turn. Right. Right. So, yeah. 
Ji Young in a pretty tough spot, and so if Ericsson keeps any kind on top, you know you're dead, right? Like you can scoop okay. at this so, point. So this is that, good. It's a double. It's a double bottom. So no, he that bottom one. He kept one on top. Oh, was it? I yeah, yeah, yeah. Bottom both. No, I think this is a, it's oh, a the this ferry. ferry and the thing that's just gonna it's bounce, gonna the bounce thing that. And then it's it's gonna just bounce gonna get in face. to hit him for and yeah for a bunch one. for a bunch. Okay. Um, uh, yeah. So you're stepping out to to get them to update live totals okay so yeah I think it's pretty pretty um I think Ericsson's in a good position like he he, he is playing the mirror but his deck seems better tuned to be the mirror because he's not trying to he's not trying to do anything too fancy he's just playing you know five mana hasty hasty creatures um to beat his opponent down whereas Jiang has a lot of like air in his deck um that being said Jiang's deck is more versatile and has better answers to stuff. So I think I think the post board games are ultimately gonna come down to who can stick in a fires of invention and keep it in play for the long the longest amount of time. Um to note, because they play Fear of Wishes, you don't have as much access to sideboard cards in general. The, your cards are all silver bullets. So Ericsson might have access to, you know, a lot more of the cards that he needs to um right be able to interact with his opponent's fires. Assume that they use, like, they have five wish targets, right? So ten sideball cards, you're going to have to assign some amount of that to the Simic food. You know? You're going to have to exp- uh, the yeah. food yeah, yeah, matchup, yeah, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So how, how, many, how much does that leave for the mirror? Like, maybe two, three cards? Yeah, actually, like, Ericsson has built a lot because the Interesting, right? even yeah. without the fires, your cards function, whereas, you know, mm. Fear of Wishes is really mopey card when you don't draw fires. <laughs> um, Would you even board out the Fear of Wishes? Uh, I think it's, it's interesting, yeah. I, I could see some matchups where you would, because, like, against, for example, like a mono red deck, it's way too slow. Yeah. But it happens also to be a 1 4. Yeah, it's pretty good. 1 4. Uh, Jiang's version is <laughs> not great, amazing at coming from behind. <laughs> um, but yeah, I, I, it's a 1 4. You know, it's good. It's decent against, like, r- like little small creatures in general, but, like, not. Not fantastic in a matchup where your opponent has six fives and four fours. They keep coming back. You know, there's no real way to kill them unless you exile them. You banish them to the shadow realm. You know, which we didn't see a single copy of because even though both players play, yeah, play yeah, yeah, yeah. And I think that's that's gonna be pretty large. Um, the only concern is that it's it's often a little bit too late, right? Like right. if if you play a shadow, uh, <laughs> shadow, shadow, <laughs> prison <laughs> realm, shadow. you play a prison realm. Um, these, he's already had one activation of the fires. And so the prison realm is actually vulnerable to another prison realm, yes. right? Or to fairy, or, 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 you know, uh, yeah. a, any kind of enchantment removal. Like, uh, I think, what is the enchantment removal? They play now True Love's Kiss. True Love's Kiss, yes. yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. But yeah, yeah, so it goes back to like having haste on the Cavalier of Flame. It's a really big deal. Yeah, right? yeah it's, it's really huge. Because, like, your planeswalkers are not safe. Yeah. Uh, you know, your life total is not safe. Yeah. And the fact they can give haste to all your... With fires, you can use your mana. So it doesn't yeah, matter. Yeah, you yeah. can use the fires to remove whatever is pinning the, fl- the Cavalier of Flame down and then just immediately swing in for, like, 8 to 10 damage. 5 mana. Wow, that's pretty good. 6, 5. Pretty good rate, huh? Pretty On good a card, card like that. Yeah, pretty good card. Would you dare say it's a uh, very strong sir? <laughs> yes, be very strong sir. Yes. <laughs> Technically, strong. it's a knight. Yeah. So, so it's it also a, a sir. So it's a very sir. strong sir. <laughs> <laughs> and not. Planeswalkers intend to do without him. Yeah, 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 yeah. So I think the version I I played uh, that Chen Hao built had like Sarkin and and a bunch mm. of like I think uh, Ugin even. Um, Ugin. Which is pretty cool, right? Ugin is pretty good against Oko against the nuke yeah, multicolored yeah, permanence. Yeah. Uh, and it puts manifests a bunch of creatures in play. Uh, but yeah, I think this match is going to come down to how much enchantment removal there is. Ji Young doing the feel bad, check the top card on my deck if I would have drawn another land. <laughs> um, but he's got a mulligan anyway. That's like, relevant with the new mulligan, right? Any, well, the new mulligan is becoming like... The no, but I, I, don't think, I don't think it matters, right? Like, yeah. there's no way you would have drawn that eighth no, card. Yeah, like, yeah, you shouldn't yeah. look. Don't, don't you shouldn't look, look but, yeah. you know, people look. You look all the time. And then tilt themselves. Yeah, yeah, it feels bad. And then, like, is it going to inform your next decision? No. And if you completely randomize your deck, there's no way that what happened, whether or not you drew a land in the t- eighth card, is going to affect the way you, you yeah, play your I next game. So. It, just, it just feels like sometimes that like you. No matter how much I shuffle my deck. It seems rabbit hunting. Is that what yeah. they call it in a. In a I don't know about rabbit in, hunting. In a poker terms. Rabbit hunting. No, I don't know. So Tiang is staring down a hand that doesn't I don't think he's got a lot of lands. He's gonna keep though, he's gonna send a definite clarion into the bottom. Right. Okay. And it seems like we are good to go with game two. Leads off with uh come into play tap, Caleb Fountain. Yeah, comes into play tapped. Comes into play tapped. 
Yeah, so it's gonna. I think a lot of the action is gonna take place. Um, turns four, right? right? Turn four onwards, unless there's some sort of mirror breaker. Right. Like and would you have like would you huh. have like this Daneful stroke in your sideboard for for this in in a just yeah a, yeah yeah, yeah, would, yeah. Right? I think so you would, and I think it's gonna be a key card here because right? you right. can stop the fires from coming down. Um, I you think can really get, you can oh he he missed his land drop. Oh wow, he's missed. He's got his head in his hands. He's like oh, not yeah, like not rough. like this. Yeah. Not oh. like this, boys. Okay, oh, okay, he, okay, okay. He makes his steam Not events. too bad. Yeah, yeah. One turn late, so he's given up the play draw advantage. Yeah. He has the fires. And he has the... the and now the, the problem is he's going to have to play a land and Ooh. pass, right? If you're Tian, do you like next level this and have, do you side out one fires so that you can wish for it? You can Whoa. fail wishes for it? The next level play. Next level. <laughs> <laughs> Lock <him a> <laughs> Normally, normally. <laughs> I was going to throw stuff at you. <laughs> <laughs> Daryl is going to throw stuff at me yeah. if he's watching. <laughs> uh, yeah, so okay, this is the, yeah. the straight up two mana, one four flying. Well, this is rough. <laughs> yeah, yeah, because Irish is going to be able to untap. Yeah, untap and play his... Uh, oh, oh, okay, he's preparing his adventure card, but he's like, nope, yeah, I can't, I'm not going to be able to stump that profitably, so I'm just going to draw for the turn. Does he have it? No. Oh, he doesn't, doesn't have fires. I mean, if he had a fires, you just like slam it, right? I mean, unless he's like baiting his opponent to tap out to play fires, then he's gonna disdainful strike and, and, and then untap and play. Up, yeah. yeah, if that's Phoenix the case, level. you should put into play tapped, right? Because then that, that's that's more convincing. Right, right. It's right, more convincing. Yeah, yeah. Like, oh, I missed my yeah, my card. <laughs> I don't have the card. I'm ready. Jeez. I'm ready. You know, like damn. You know, put an end uh, to my misery. But it's hard too to keep mana open against an opponent who missed a land drop. Right, right. You, you, you can't sure, rely. Right? Yeah, you can't guarantee that he's gonna make his fourth land drop and play his fires. And, and then you really don't want to like. And this feels bad, man. He's yeah, just gonna pass. Just he's gonna like, pass. oh, okay. Uh, so well, I hope that, like, this was fun. Him. Okay, but here we go. So this so he's, is else. <laughs> he's gonna shock him with stomp. Due to the you, buddy. And here we go. Yeah. Beat down. I beat you. Mm. Yeah, yeah. If you play Cavalier Gills into an enemy Nasset, Nasset is an interesting, uh, interesting suggestion. It could be a kind of mirror breaker, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Also, yeah. I think what's actually broken the mirror here, in uh, crazily enough, is the Castle of Entrance. Like that's yeah. gonna be able to help him like yeah, yeah. turn excess mana, and so you m ensure that he has a stream, a steady stream of gas. He's gonna play this, yeah. uh, Bone Crusher Giant as kind of like, and still off two mana pace. up to represent. Yeah, represent the same for sure. Gonna play this as a bit of an off pace kind of threat, like right? It's not a threat you were expecting. Yeah, it but it actually matches up really well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, do you Teferi bounce it? That feels bad, right? You bounce yeah. it back to his hand, he's gonna play a, yeah. a Storm to kill Teferi. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah. So, I don't know if this is by design, but Ericsson is like. Yeah, he's crafted his this list. Yeah, yeah pretty well. Very well. Yeah. But I mean, based on the way that he cut through the, the crowd last yesterday, oh, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. it seems like he might, must have. A good sense of what's going right, on. Right, right, yeah. He's gonna take one. He's gonna hit his opponent back for four. four Doesn't seem a like a trade. fair trade. No. And Erickson now has so many turns to draw his, his uh. And he oh, he's gonna bolt his opponent. He's just gonna. I'm gonna ding you. Yeah, and I think he's gonna run it back. So it's gonna be exact same play. He's yeah, gonna yeah. Play the ball of his giant with two mana up with the disdain for stroke and Wait, his opponent is stuck. Right? Shouldn't he be on eight sixteen? Uh, did he press the? Yeah, oh yeah there okay, we go. Uh, okay, he's so waiting go. for your, for it to resolve. Yeah, <laughs> like. Okay, so here we go. Erickson untaps and see whether he does exactly the same thing he he did last turn, but with an additional land in play. Beats for four, puts his opponent down to twelve. Okay, puts a sacred foundry to play tap, cast the boulder fist giant. And this represents a two turn clock. Like regardless, even if he holds the fear, which is back to block. So if nothing changes, well, he finally, Tiang has finally hit his fourth land. See what he's gonna do. I think he's gonna cast the drawn into dreams that he has in hand. Drawn from dreams, sorry. Okay, so let's see what's going on here. Tiang is a deafening clarion drawn from dreams, but it actually doesn't look like he has a fires in hand. I don't know. Okay, so stepping through here, casting the clarion, which clears the board of the bowl of his giants. That's pretty painful. But Dovin's veto. Right, and I think, yeah, I don't know. Depending, 
if he has another counter spell in hand, I think Ericsson has this game, right? Very hard to come back from this. Okay. He's going to lay his land, go into the attack step. Okay, wait, crack his Fabled Passage first. His mana is already pretty stable. I think he gets another island, maybe? Yeah, so he can... No, well... I think if he got another island, then he could just, like, Ventress with mana up. Straightforward here, just gonna turn two creatures sideways. Well, no, something else. Oh, the Cavalier! Hot cast the Cavalier! <laughs> and he's gonna give it haste. And now the Deafening Clarion just doesn't help. Like, if he invests, his if Young invests his next turn to cast Deafening Clarion, clear away the two Bolifist Giants, it's still, it's still not gonna help. And I think anyway, regardless, this is 11 points of damage. He's going to be at one. A bolt of his giant in its adventure mode stomp would do it. Oh, was it one? I thought it was, wait, wait, five. Four, five, five and seven. 13, right, yeah, okay. Yeah, I don't know how he gets out of this. So this is a really interesting sideboard plan that Ericsson pulled out. The Red Adventure, that's a Boulder Fist Giant, I believe. Let me pull it up. Bone Crusher Giant, sorry. There we go. Okay, I'm gonna pull it up real quick. Transition. And I well, in the time that I was looking for the Bone Crusher Giant, the game was over. So what Ericsson did is just cast a Cavalier, made everything hasty, and then just... Yeah, so I giants. think he really has a good approach to this, right, this right, right. form. Right. What is this Red Adventure? Yeah, a Bone Crusher Giant. Bone Crusher Giant. I keep saying bold, bold, Boulder Fist Ogre, because, you know, it's the Hearthstone card, right? Boulder Fist Ogre, dude. That's like a mob from World of Warcraft. Yeah, 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 right, right. So, <laughs> this is all the... Okay, so Ericsson? Uh, Ericsson probably oh, advancing yeah. to top eight. Uh, This is over, right? Yeah, this is over. This is done. Yeah, it was brutal. It's a done deal. Yeah, it's a yeah, done yeah, deal. yeah. It seems like he has it figured out. Yeah, I, I think this is a really, really good approach to the This is how you play the game. Play. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I think that you have to expect that there's going to be a, a bunch You're of... You're not going to be able to play Fires. Right. Yeah. Right, so, like, the bold... I mean, this, this Bone Crusher Giant was a really, really interesting sideboard card, right? I don't even know whether this is in his main board. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But what a good approach, right? Just put creatures into play that your opponent has to answer. Didn't help that Tiang was stuck on lands for a while, or stuck on three, so couldn't mm -hmm. do anything for a while. Uh, and the Dovin's veto on the Deafening Clarion was like crucial. You know, that yeah, 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 yeah. So, uh, it's going to be a while to the next round in like probably like 30 minutes, 25 to 30 minutes, depending on uh, whether we go to time. Uh, but we'll see you guys for the next round and uh, the win and in probably for yep. Top 8. Yep, yep, so yep. it's going to be an exciting one. Uh, we'll catch you later.